Hi everyone, this is Dylan again from Dylan's Reptile Time. Hope you're doing okay. Uh, we're gonna have a look at a couple of creepy crawlies today. Uh, the first one is a hissing cockroach. So let's have a look at these here. So this is a, a hissing cockroach. Now they're called hissing cockroaches because they've got holes down the side that they can push air through and it makes a noise like this. And they do that to scare off anything that might want to eat it. Uh, sounds a bit like a snake. And those holes down the side, they're, they're actually called spiracles and they can actually breathe through those holes, which is pretty cool. And they come from the island of uh, Madagascar. Yeah, do you know Madagascar? Yeah. I like to move it, move it. That's his favorite song. He loves that one. And uh, they're found in the forests of Madagascar under logs and leaves and things like that. So you can't really have a, that much of a closer look here. So we'll, we'll have a closer look now, okay? So hissing cockroaches live in colonies. So if we look under this log, there's loads. So there'll be adult males and females and um, little baby cockroaches there. And there can be hundreds of them living in these uh, colonies under logs and things. Now, like most insects, they've got six legs. These are tucked up inside their body there. And they've got this hard exoskeleton on their back that helps them be protected against getting eaten by birds and things like that. It's like a suit of armor. And the male cockroaches, they've got little bumps, these horns on the top of their back. And they use those to headbutt the other boys to try and get the best looking girlfriend cockroach. And the mummy cockroach, uh, well, most insects lay tiny eggs, but the mummy cockroach develops the eggs inside her body and then gives birth to up to 60 baby cockroaches. This one looks like it might be uh, might be going to be having some babies soon. So if we have a close up on this one, you can see its horns on the top of its head. And they've also got hooks on the bottom of their foot, which uh, allow them to climb up walls, faces and noses of stupid people like this. All right, excellent. So that was a closer look at the uh, hissing cockroach there. Uh, these guys can live up to about five years or so. Uh, this one's about two years old. It's an adult male. Um, an interesting fact about cockroaches, by the way, uh, they've got two brains. I don't know if it's the case with the hissing cockroach, but a lot, of, a lot of them have two brains. They've got a brain in their head and a brain in their bottom. So if they have their head bitten off, they could just run around as if nothing's happened and they can breathe through those holes down the side. And they can live like that for about 10 days before they just starve, just run out of food, I guess. So that was uh, the hissing cockroach from Madagascar. Let's put that one back. We're gonna have another, a look at another creepy crawly called a scorpion. So this is Snuggles. So Snuggles here, he's a little bit jittery. Uh, he's uh, an Asian forest scorpion. Can you see him there? And he's uh, an arachnid, so like, they're like spiders, so they've got eight legs they've got these two pincers at the front which they used to catch their prey with and they've all got this venomous sting at the end of their tail which they use to inject venom into their prey and this uh, they're probably one of the largest species of scorpions in the world they can get a lot bigger than this he's only a, um, a little baby really they can get at least twice maybe three times as big as this they get pretty big and they're found in the um, kind of rainforests in asia you can find them in uh, ones like it called emperor scorpions get quite big in Africa as well. But scorpions, they're found all over the world. Yeah, a lot are found in deserts uh, and I've even found them in olive groves in uh, Greece under rocks and stuff. It's pretty cool. So let's have a closer look at the, uh, the scorpion, shall we? So the general rule with scorpions is the larger their pincers, the less dangerous they are. So if they've got large claws like this, they'll probably use those more to catch their prey with. If they've got tiny claws that don't really do much, then the venom in their sting is likely going to be a lot deadlier. So they'll probably use that more to kill their prey. And there's a close up of his stinger there. That's called the telson. If you see, they're kind of covered in these tiny hairs as well. So they'll probably detect their prey with those. And uh, if we turn him around, there's his mouth at the front there. He's got a couple of little eyes on the top of his head as well. All right, so this one, uh, the Asian forest scorpion's got very mild venom. So if this one did sting you, it'd be like a bee sting or a wasp, wasp sting, something like that. Some scorpions though, a few can uh, make you really poorly and some can uh, potentially kill you. So you've got like the Indian red scorpion, the, a, um, the Brazilian yellow scorpion. You've got the death stalker scorpion, clues in the name with that one. Uh, Arizona bark scorpions are pretty deadly and the fat tail ones from Africa. Uh, if you don't get anti-venom, they could potentially kill you, but 
like all like snakes and scorpions, they don't actually go out looking for someone to sting. You have to be very unlucky to get stung. And they can give birth to, they give birth to live young. Uh, and they all, all the young kind of climb onto the mummy's back. And she just carries them around for a, uh, a few days uh, to protect them while they're really small. And uh, they can live up to about 25 years. So potentially up to 25 years. So we're gonna have a look at one more thing with the Asian forest scorpion, because uh, they do a very special thing when you shine a UV light on them. Uh, check this out. So at the moment you can't really see anything, but if I use this UV light, you'll see there it is, it's a scorpion. And it's basically the UV light reacts with chemicals inside its exoskeleton, which causes it to glow like this. And they all do this. So if you're in the desert at night time and you want to see where all the scorpions are, just use an ultraviolet light, shine it around and they all light up like this. If you want to glow in the dark scorpion, though, probably best to get a toy one, not a real one, though. Right, that was pretty cool, wasn't it? Glowing in the dark, pretty awesome thing that they can do. So that was Snuggles, the Asian forest scorpion. Say bye, Snuggles. See you later. Right, so I hope you enjoyed that, uh, seeing a couple of creepy crawlies. Uh, why not go in your garden, maybe, and just see if you can find a couple of little mini beasts under plant pots, things like that. You might find little woodlouse, centipedes, little millipedes, maybe an earwig. Uh, let me know what you find. All right, cheers. Bye.